here we are. The final video for the Ultra Sun Ultra Moon game. At least I hope, I think it may be. I don't know. We'll find out soon because we're right on the doorstep of Pokemon Sword and Shield being officially released for United States. I'm not sure where, how it is everywhere else. I know, like, I know, like, Modest Neko is getting a 9 p.m. release today. Impy has to wait until 11 p.m. And he has to wait in the cold! And he has to wait in the snow! And he has to wait in the line. That's the, that's the crime there. That's the crime. Forget the snow. Forget the cold. Forget the fact that it's near midnight. No, he has to wait a big, it's, it, he has to wait in a line, folks. Has to wait in the line. Got a pre-order, but still has to wait in the line. Someone's about to suffer my wrath over there. Regardless! Let's end the Ultra Sun Ultra Moon game with one final glorious battle between TK and Danny Boy, this time we're going to be showing off the gr the the pledge combo. Well, well, well actually, it's going to be like two pledge combos, but we're going to be showing off a battle between Impy's many starters and Danny Boy's team. Don't think it's changed very much, but regardless, let's get this battle started. One last glorious charge. Alright, I'm going to start this off with Kimberly and Tadakatsu. And Danny Boy is going to be leading off with Garchomp and Tyranita. Now Tyranita is going to be setting up the sand stream. This is going to actually kick in Garchomp's ability if it's using the sand rail. But I'm going to go for the grass or for the wa fire pledge water pledge combo attack. Thankfully Kimberly was faster so, he, so she was able to go first. And I did not get the KO off on the Garchomp. I barely avoided the Garchomp KO, despite the wa despite the fact that you know Tadakatsu was a Water type, so got the stab boost, and despite the fact that I got you know a life orb, I did not get the KO off on the Garchomp. Thus, Garchomp here survives the attack, gets to go for the Rockinium Z move, gonna be smashing poor Kimberly with a giant rock. Rest in pepperoni, my Del Fox. Oh my goodness. Even if she had a focus that she would not have survived. Stone Edge comes out, misses Tadakatsu, and he's like, oh good, thank goodness. Now, Diana is coming out to play, and this is where Impy shines his brightest. Gonna go for the Grass Pledge, Water Pledge combo attack here. Not able to get the stab boost off, but I still have the life orb damage. Just gonna finish off the guard champ. Not gonna let it get another attack off. Swamp now envelops the opposing sides of the field, so now I've got the rainbow on my side, so now all my, effect, my effects are doubled. I've got the swamp on his side of the field, so his speed is decreased by 50%. And unfortunately, I am gonna lose Deanna here thanks to the Focus Ash and thanks to the Sandstorm damage, so that's the Pepperoni my superior. Two Pokemon for one. Not a good trade for it be. Not a good, uh, not a good trade. Now, Farron on the field. That's right, Farron, Ma, Torterra. Now, Venusaur on the field. So I'm like, ah, oh, well, that's new. Hello, Venusaur. Haven't seen you in a while. But Venusaur is going to go for the Mega. Impy does not have any Megas on his side of the field, at least. I don't think I do. But Air Slash comes out here. Going to be going smack dab into the Venusaur. I've got maybe two turns of this of the rainbow still on my side of the field. Seed Bomb comes out from Farron, able to outspeed the Tyranitar. Tyranitar gonna go for the Stone Edge, gonna do quite a bit of damage onto, onto Farron, despite the resistance, not able to get it. Flinch works on the Venusaur, so thank goodness for that. People underestimate the power of these, you know, of, of, of these combos. People underestimate the pledge combos. But they can work wonders. Venusaur is pulled out, can be sent in and replaced by Ace, the Skarmory. Air Slash comes out from Tadakatsu, not gonna do a ton of damage to that Skarmory. Again, because of the steel typing. I'm losing a ton of health here on Tadakatsu. Seed Bomb comes out 
from Farron to finish off the Tyranitar. So that's the end of that. So down goes Tyranitar. Katakatsu is going to get hit by that sand. Farron doesn't give two flying flamingos about the sand. He just sits there, you know, chows down on his, on his you know, leftovers. And the rainbow is gone. Now... Volcarona on the field, gonna be doing quite a bit of damage to Impy if it gets the attacks off. Water Pledge comes out from Tadakatsu, trying to get rid of the Volcarona as quickly as possible. Not able to get the KO off. Earthquake comes out from Farron. This is just gonna absolutely devastate my side of the field, but at the very least, I do get rid of the Volcarona. So the Volcarona is gone, ladies and gentlemen. Avoided that annoyance. But, unfortunately, the Skarmory is still on the field. Goes for the Brave Bird. Oh, this is going to hurt so badly. Farron is he's a tank, but he can't take that much firepower from a Skarmory. Down goes my starter. And, of course, the Sandstorm subsides. And I've lost the, the Swamp now. So now my opponent is at full speed once again. My Lotic on the field. Thorin on the field now for Impy. And Melody gonna gonna move off to counter the Milo Tick. It's two to three in terms of Pokemon, and now Impy pulls out his Z move. He's gonna be trying to do as much damage as possible. Now, obviously, I don't do any attacks here. I just go for the Z bulk up to try to get some defensive power going. My Lota going for the toxic stalling. I'm like, okay, whatever. I have no choice. I cannot toxic. I cannot fight a toxic stall. In fact, we're not going to be trying that game. Brave Bird comes out from the Skarmory. Actually, this helps me to survive. But thanks to that, you know, Z bulk up, I was able to survive that. Barely, but I survived it. Moonblast coming out from my Milotic. You no know, Melody going to try and get that special attack drop, but without the rainbow, she's not having as good a time as my other Pokemon did. Thorin gets the speed boost off, so now he's faster. Now he hits harder. He gets, you know, he has some defensive power, and the Milotic is burned. So I go for the brick, brick, break here, thinking I could have taken it out, but no, it's got the, uh, it's got that ability that, you know, when it suffers a de suffers a status condition, it has its defense doubled. So I wasn't able to get the KO off here. Brave Bird comes out from the Skarmory here after the Milotic shut down Thorn. Going straight into Melody. She's not liking that at all. But I do have one final Hyper Voice out. I'm praying it goes for the crit and I do not get the crit on the Milotic. Not able to get rid of the Milotic, meaning Impy is so doomed here. Oh, Melody, she's trying so hard, but she does not have what, what it takes. She does not have anything left in the tank now, especially now that the Venusaur is back on the field. Oh, without Thorin to help, without any additional defensive power, she's not able to survive the Giga Drain, not able to protect against it, nothing left in the tank. Oh, my poor Primarina. She tried so hard, but in the end, it was not enough. Oh, but a good battle to Danny. Very, very good battle. Oh my goodness, that boy knows how to fight. Whew! So, yeah. So, yeah, that's that was it. Feels weird, you know, going into a new generation game. It, it feels like l only last year that, if you, for some, I don't know why. I mean, Sun and Moon, I think, came out like two, three years ago, but it feels like it was last year that Sun and Moon came out. Not talking about Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. No, it feels like only yet last year that we were just starting in, starting down this battle in Alola. Now here we are, yeah, about to go to Galar. Press F to pay respects to Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, and press F to pay respects to Alola. But until then, I'll see you tacticians in the next game! Off to Galar we go! Oh, wait, wait, wait. 
One last time, I know you can't see me doing it, but Alola! I'm taking in what I can get, but I can't find the answers yet. Head in the water, slow my mind, I hold my breath until I'm found.